Today is glucose test day. Number 22. Oh, look at the nursery. I can finally share. This is the current situation. <laughs> That drink was apparently I am measuring ahead. Merry and bright. Do you have any room in there? Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I just got done getting ready and we're going to be going to my cousin's basketball game again. I don't know what to wear and I also really needed to try on this dress. It's the same dress that I showed in my last vlog, the black skims dupe, but I got two of them because I got one in a large, one in an extra large because I didn't know which size I would need. And this one wasn't supposed to come until like the day before my shower. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I ordered both. So I had two options or whatever, but I need to know if I need to return it because we're getting ready to head to town. So I kind of need to try it on, even though I liked that one. I really want to try the large. I thought I ordered, I don't know, I, I got them mixed up. I thought I had the large already and the extra large was supposed to come, but the large just came today and I had the extra large. Very confusing. So I forgot that I don't even work on Wednesday, so I have time to do it then because I'll be in town for my glucose test, which is so crazy. So I'm just not even going to worry about it. I'll try it on later because I just don't have time right now. But I made stew for like my roast again because I had all the ingredients and I didn't want them to go to waste so I made that and I was gonna have some before we left but I don't even have time to do that but yeah this is probably gonna be the fit today because I don't have time to put on anything else so this is the fit my target black bodysuit which I freaking love this random flannel which I have no idea where it's at just black and white with this black vest and I was gonna wear my uh dupe slippers but we gotta go for these babies since we freaking won yesterday. And I'm still on the high. Still on it. But we're gonna go watch my little cousin ball out on some basketball and then run a few errands. Number 22, Carly. So I'm back home. It's 7.33 and I'm just about to eat some dinner. I'm gonna have some of this roast. It smells so good. I'm so excited. This is like the easiest thing to make and it's such like a comfort meal because it's like warm and cozy and not a lot of ingredients at all. It's just so good. Jared didn't go with me to the game. He stayed home because he had just got back from town like literally as I was leaving. But I have to show you guys what he did while I was gone. I'm so excited, but our house is literally a disaster now. Look at the nursery. He like cleared it all out basically 
to clean on the baseboards because they were like really dirty all the way around and it smells literally so clean in here um, and he vacuumed and then over here he started taping the trim which we have a lot of that left to do but I did not know he was doing this so it's exciting that I came home to this it just makes it feel that much more real Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So I am in bed now and I am hurting. Surprise, surprise. My feet hurt so bad and my back feels like it could break in half at any moment, but it feels like good just to like lay down and relax. I got home and I ate my dinner and then I started like cleaning around the house because it was a nightmare with just like all the stuff that we had in the nursery for Jared to take out to like get it clean and stuff. We like moved some of it back in for now because there's just no room for it all to stay out of the room. And then I unloaded the dishwasher, loaded it, cleaned up by crock pot and stuff and the kitchen then i did my skincare and everything like that but i'm glad to be off my feet i'm not even really hungry but i know if i don't have a little snack i'm gonna get hungry in the middle of the night so i'm having a little sugar-free chocolate jello and it's so crazy because tomorrow's halloween and i I'm not supposed to have like any sugar or carbs tomorrow night because on Wednesday I have my glucose test which is crazy because technically that would mean like tonight is like my last option to like have sugar just in case things go south with my test which I'm praying that they won't. I'm praying that everything's gonna be fine. And speaking of Halloween tomorrow I can finally share what we're gonna be because by the time this video goes up it's obviously after Halloween and if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen what we were which was so freaking simple and basic this year because I just did not have the energy to really do a lot and we didn't have like a party to go to anyway but yeah we were Ross and Rachel from Friends which is cute but it also feels so heavy right now because with the passing of Matthew Perry aka Chandler Bing it's just sad but it's also like a good tribute to him as well I feel like or not to him but just like the whole entire cast so yeah that was literally the saddest news and I haven't been able to like st like stop thinking about it ever since and that was like what three days ago so freaking sad I haven't watched an episode since not because like I can't or don't want to it's just football's been on and I just like football definitely tomorrow night I am watching some friends and it's sad too because I was like scrolling on Facebook and I also saw that Gunther off of Friends, the guy that's like obsessed with Rachel that works at Central Perk, he has passed away too, which I didn't know that until just the other day. He passed away in like 2021, I think, from cancer, which I started watching Friends at the end of 2021. So I don't know exactly when he passed, but I wouldn't have really known who he was by at that time. I just saw a, a little picture like somebody drew or whatever, and it said like they were in heaven together going to get coffee or something, which is my heartbreak. So sad. I am obviously just going to relax the rest of the night before going to sleep. Finish watching this Monday night football game and then and I don't really have any plans tomorrow, but I do have a doctor's appointment and a glucose test, glucose test on Wednesday, and I have the day off on Wednesday. So definitely gonna be running some errands, like taking those shoes back, the pajama pants from Walmart back, one of the black dresses that I have over there. I might need to do my grandma's nails. I haven't done them for a while, so I'll check in with her, but it's just gonna be a busy running errands off of work day. So I'm sure I'm gonna be hurting a lot that day as well, but that's okay. But I'm gonna stop talking. It's 921. I just want to relax in bed before I actually go to sleep. Does anybody else like that? You like need to lay in bed for a while before you can actually like go to sleep. I am like that. Like I want to have like a few hours in my bed before I'm actually sleeping. I've just always been like that. I always just like chilling in my bed. But yeah, I'm literally just rambling at this point. So I will see you guys in the morning. you guys i'm already out of breath <laughs> it's 4 18 and i just got off of work i worked till 4 today because i took a full hour lunch break because i was so tired that i had to take a nap and i didn't even really get that good of a nap in i just was literally falling asleep at my desk so finally at 12 30 i was like okay i'm gonna take a nap and then i went and laid on the couch and couldn't really fall asleep you know and i just have felt so low energy ever since and so i'm forcing myself right now to take the dogs on a w-a-l-k because it's like really beautiful out it's 
cold it's like 41 degrees but it's still like really sunny and nice Oh, I hate doing this. I hate tying shoes with this belly. It hurts. Oh, I don't even have any clean pants. I had to pull these pants out of my dirty clothes pile because I need to do laundry, but laundry day's not till tomorrow. And I'm trying to get back on track with my schedule of Sundays and Wednesdays since it's been messed up the past few weeks from like being out of town and stuff. Whew. I'm hoping this is gonna be warm enough. I'm wearing my Amazon sweatshirt with this vest that Jared got me for Christmas last year. I went and walked to get the mail this morning and I wore like my big like winter coat, except it's getting so hard to zip. Like it's just, there's just a button's about to freaking spew any day now. And by the time I got back, I was like sweating in it and it was a lot colder then. So I'm feeling like this is gonna be okay. Plus I'm gonna get a headband thing if I can find one. I can wear this sky to keep my ears these warm. I also kind of want to do another little trial run with the stroller but I really just need to do it when Jared's here because I can't film or anything because I'm pushing. Oh I literally, literally have like a tail going on here because <laughs> I can't push the stroller, hold on to the dogs and try and like record all at the same time. So We'll try. Maybe you'll just ride in the stroller with us or something. I don't know, but we're gonna go for a little walkies. I'm gonna try to get a good 30 minute walk in because I just miss walking and my body has been hurting and I need it. So hopefully this will help. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight. I'm, I think I'm gonna have the stew. I just probably won't have a lot of the potatoes because I was told to not eat a lot of carbs the night before your glucose test. So that's the plan. I also want to read a little bit. It doesn't even feel like it's Halloween. Today's Halloween. I'm like straight over Halloween. Like I'm thinking like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I already like was thinking about like watching a Christmas movie tonight. I just have not been into Halloween this year for whatever reason. I literally have watched Hocus Pocus 2 once and I watched like half of Hocus Pocus, the first one. And that's it. That's literally all I've done. I just don't really care for Halloween this year. I don't know why. I also want to read some more of my book. I'm getting more into it and it's not scaring me as much. It's taken me so long to read because it's like I just don't want to feel like scared when I read it. And it's been like a month now that I've been reading it. But I'm past halfway and I'm starting to like want to like read it more. So maybe I'll do that. Somebody asked me to like give a Colleen Hoover book review of like all her books that I've read. And I haven't read a ton of them. But I do want to sit down sometime and go over all of them that I've read because I just love her books so much. So maybe I'll do that tonight if I remember, if I have time. I don't know. But let's go on this walk. Who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Here. Oh. I haven't been for a walk in the afternoon in so long. Usually when we walk, we just walk on my lunch break. So this is gonna feel different. Hi, here. Come here. Ah, ah, ma'am, come here. You have to get connected. All right, let's go. We're taking Miss Millie for a little ride today. Watch out, come on, back up. We're gonna go for a ride. Look at honey, already freaking out. You're okay. POV, you're my baby. <laughs> ah, we're running over things. Okay. Okay, come here. I need you guys. Come here. We're staying on one side of the stroller. We're gonna stay on this side. Let's walk. Good doggies. Honey, you're okay. Oh no, you tipped over. This probably ain't gonna work that well. Good boy, Granger. Good boy. Honey, no. <gasps> Honey, no. Good boy, Granger. Oh, we're turning. Oh god, this is a nightmare. Oh no, we're running in the grass. You guys can't take up the whole freaking sidewalk. This sidewalk is janky. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys cannot switch sides. Good boy, Granger. Watch out, I'm gonna run over you. Honey, you can't be pulling away. Okay, this is a current situation. <laughs> Good boy, Granger. Good boy. Honey, you're pulling too far. Okay, you guys cannot switch sides. <laughs> I'm all tangled up. You can't do that. Good girl, sister. You're getting better. Good girl. Good puppy. You guys are getting so much better. Okay. Nope. 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 You can't pull me around on the other side. Yay. We made it around the block. Oh gosh. And we just crashed. 
Oh, not too bad. Still got a long way to go. That baby probably would have had motion sickness by now. Oh, so that it went better than the first time, but it uh, still has a lot of improvement to do, which is why we're starting early because we still have, you know, three months before Miss Thing is here, which is so crazy. But that walk felt really good, but it, my back literally feels like it's going to break in half. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. And so I need to shower really bad because I was actually sweating on that walk. It did get a little hot, but I just cannot stand anymore. So I'm gonna take a bath. And I meant to freaking order like bubble bath and stuff off of Amazon today. And it was gonna get here tomorrow and I got busy at work and forgot. So now I haven't even ordered it. I just am trying to use like cleaner stuff. And I know that like the Dr. Teal's isn't like the best. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a bath. I'm probably gonna go get, get my book and read in here for a little bit and just relax. Really soak in this relaxation time. <laughs> Bath bodyguard over here. So it's 6.48 and I'm in my Christmas pajamas and I'm actually watching a Hallmark Christmas movie right now. I have been reading a little bit more of my book. Let's see, I'm on chapter 17, page 200, and there's 289, so I have 89 pages left. And I want to finish it within the next few days because I just want to start something new. It's getting good, honestly, but it's so freaking weird still. So weird. But yeah, I'm ready just to move on and read some like Hallmark or some Christmas books. I probably won't restart the Christmas books till December or something, but I just want something different, you know? I just heated up my roast and it's so good. I really want to make my chili again. I've been craving it so bad. And I would have made that over this yesterday, but I don't have all the chili ingredients here. And I had everything here for this. So I just went with this, but I have not been able to stop thinking about that chili I made a few weeks ago. It's the best chili I've ever had. Also, if you're wondering like why, <laughs> like on Halloween, I don't have candy and we're not passing out candy. It's because literally the first few years that we lived here, I bought so much candy, stocked up so much on it. And we had probably three trick-or-treaters every single year. So last year I was like, nope, not buying candy at all this year because it just is a waste because like, I'm not like the biggest candy eater, but when I do get in that mood, I eat like a lot. So I'm like, why even have it around the house? And Jared's not like really a candy eater either candy eater either so last year i was like i'm just not even gonna buy it because it gets expensive too yeah it's almost seven o'clock it's like almost pitch dark out and i have not seen a single kid walk down this street Love that for me. There you go, sister. Enjoy. November 1st. It is so crazy how fast this year has gone. And it's crazy to think that I've spent most of it pregnant. Well, not yet. I don't know. I guess, yeah, because I'm almost seven months. That's crazy. Typically on November 1st or like the first few days of November, I would be dying to 
get my Christmas decorations out and stuff. But if you saw the state that this house was in, you would understand why I'm not dying right now. I feel like I can only focus on one thing at a time. And right now we're focusing on the nursery and trying to get that finished. But once that is done, hopefully within like the next few weeks, it's definitely Christmas mode because I want to enjoy the Christmas tree or Christmas decorations for as long as possible this year. Jared is an actual Grinch, so we have to alternate every year on who decides when to put up the Christmas decorations. And unfortunately, it is his turn to decide when we do that. Last year, I don't remember when we put them up. Was it? Did I decide last year? I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch my video, but yeah. We have to switch back and forth every year because he doesn't like to put it up till like the week of Thanksgiving or even the day after Thanksgiving. And I want to put them up yesterday, like on Halloween. <laughs> So we have to compromise each year, but today is glucose test day and I don't have to fast, but they did tell me to eat like a high protein, low carb, obviously low sugar breakfast. So that's what I'm doing. I made turkey sausage and some eggs with cheese and avocado oil mayo. I can never say that. It is so freaking good putting that on my eggs and I'm obsessed with it. I was gonna have a protein shake too, but I'm not even like really that hungry, but I feel like I have a very busy day ahead of me. So let me just try and give you the rundown. I need to get ready and I have my glucose test and then I have my doctor's appointment. Well, that's kind of all wrapped into one because I'll take my glucose drink, I think, and then you have to wait for an hour before you get your blood drawn, I think. And so during that hour, I'll go up to my doctor's appointment and then I'll go back down to labs and get my blood drawn. And then I need to run a bag to Goodwill. We got a new air fryer, so I'm gonna take my old air fryer over to my grandma. And then I think I might do her nails if she wants me to. What else? Oh, I need to make those returns. I need to try on my dress like before anything to see which one I want to keep so I need to make those returns to Amazon I need to make a return to Walmart I was maybe gonna film another video today in the afternoon like my second trimester recap but I don't know if I'll have time because I have church tonight also at 6 30 it's a holy day of obligation for all saints day I basically got a lot of editing done last night for this video so that felt really good I also would like to film some reels today you know one thing that drives me crazy when I edit I don't realize in the moment that I'm talking with food in my mouth, but then when I'm editing and see me talking while eating, I'm like so disgusted. I'm like, why do I do that? But when I'm sitting here talking, I don't realize that I'm doing it. It's so weird. So if that really disgusts you, I'm sorry. I agree, it's disgusting. <laughs> but just know I don't do it on purpose. I don't do it intentionally, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then go get ready and try on the dress to see which one I'm gonna keep. So if you missed my last vlog, this is the black dress that I'm trying on. This is the large and I think I like it better than the extra large. Um, just because like when I'm not pregnant anymore, I'm not gonna need an extra large and I'll still have this to wear. So I think I'm gonna keep the large, but I freaking love this dress. I know you guys are like, oh great, another saga of how much she loves this black stupid dress, but you guys, it is so freaking comfortable. And it's just so cute. This is the first time I've had it on that I like had makeup on. So you know, like I'm feeling myself, okay? My hair's not done though, so it's not good. But I wish I could wear this to my appointment, but I cannot. So unfortunately I have to take it off. But what I need to wear, or all my clothes that I can wear are in the dryer. So hopefully they get done soon. Ow, son of a monkey, pinch me. Ooh, with jewelry, okay. I think I decided I'm wearing this for maternity pictures and the brown dress for, is that see-through? I think it's a little see-through. <laughs> Um, the, br the brown dress for my baby shower, I think. Could totally change the day of, but that's what I'm planning right now. Good morning, baby girl. I hopefully get to see you today. Sometimes I think my bump looks so small and sometimes I'm like, wow, can I get any bigger? Right now I think it's looking not real big, but I also am dressed in black and it's in the morning. But last night when I like got up to pee at like 10 something, I came and like looked at myself. I'm like, where's my bump? <laughs> like so small. You're not growing as large as you were, which is okay. You still got a while to grow. I don't want to take it off. Come with me to go get my glucose test. I'm nervous. Hello, I have my glucose test today. Okay, go ahead and fill out that information. I went with the orange drink and I've heard orange is the best. It's delicious, what the heck? I would buy this at the grocery store. Yum. Now time for my appointment. My appointment's done and now I just have to wait for my one hour time to go off before they can draw my blood. I hate needles. 
You drink lots of water? I do. That's good. Keep doing that. <laughs> that helps them veins be all fluffy. Right. Your doing okay? Mm -hmm. That was it. Don't forget to breathe. I'm Bad breathing. girl. Okay. You're doing great. And hopefully you pass this one so you don't oh have to my come God. do the three oh hours. Oh my God. I pray. Oh, I pray for you too. And I'm done. I passed. So I'm out of my appointment. I did my glucose test and everything. And I didn't vlog because I made a real that I'm gonna post or short, but I'll probably include it in the vlog as well. But that drink was delicious. I wish I could just buy that and drink it because it was so good. I got the orange flavor. So I, I'm turning, I gotta hold you. And the lighting, you can't even see me. What happened to me? <laughs> okay, I'm parked now. And I was gonna say that I finally remembered to ask my doctor about the one-up greens and reds and he said that they look like an excellent thing that I could be taking which I'm so sad that I didn't remember to ask him sooner because I could have been taking it this whole time and I miss like I miss taking those they're so good and they're good for you and he was reading through the ingredients he's like wow this sounds something like I should be taking too <laughs> but yeah the appointment went good short and sweet but he did say that I am measuring big he didn't say like how big like week wise but he just said from like the measuring thing that they use I don't know if it's in inches or centimeters I think centimeters he said I'm like three centimeters big or over where I am or whatever so they are gonna go ahead and schedule me a sonogram to check and see like what's going on in there so yeah what was it literally just a few hours ago I was like sometimes I feel like I'm not even growing and then other times I feel like I'm growing so fast but apparently I am measuring ahead which is fine and then they gave me a schedule of every single appointment I have left which is so crazy. It's like getting down to the wire and time is just going by so fast. But anyway, I went to Goodwill, dropped off my bag of stuff that I need to drop off. I'm sitting in front of the UPS store right now to return my shoes and that dress to Amazon. I passed Walmart, but my grandma's is right here. So I'll probably go to my grandma's and go to Walmart later. I also kind of want to go to Sephora because I think they're having their Sephora sale and I really want to look into getting the LYS foundation because I'm almost like out of my foundations and then I am like squeezing the tube out of my LYS lip stuff that I love so I need to get another one of those. Why not do it during the Sephora sale? So I think I'm gonna do that. I feel like I have more stuff to do I just can't remember but I'm gonna go do these and go head to my grandma's. So I made it to Sephora. I just went to Walmart, dropped off or exchanged the pants and I got some other stuff so I'll give you a haul when I got home but it's 225 and I just realized that I haven't ate since breakfast at eight o'clock this morning so i needed to get some food in me so i got some wendy's it was literally a last minute decision i was on my way here and there's a wendy's right in front i was like i'm i need to get some food i almost backed out of even coming here because a lot of the lys beauty stuff here i am talking with my mouth full again a lot of the lys beauty stuff is like online only and the foundation is online only so i was like why do i need to go in store just to order it online but with foundations i never know what shade to get and if i come here they can at least like help match me close to what shade i need and then there are some things here that are in store like the lip oil that i can get here i'm gonna get a new concealer because i'm almost out of my other one that i can get here so I just decided to come, but I feel bad for the dogs. I need to get home to them soon. Mm. Oh no, there's a tomato on here. Ugh. That's disgusting. Get off of there. Ugh. I was gonna run to Ulta also after I went to, or before I went to Walmart, cause I just needed lashes for my baby shower and for maternity pictures, but I just decided to get the lashes at Walmart so I didn't have to do another stop. Cause I am ready to be home. I'm so tired. And my back is starting to hurt. That was a fail. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm happy to be home for a little bit anyways until I have to go to church. But I was gonna give you a haul real fast of the things I got at Walmart. I went to Sephora and the Sephora that I went to, it's a new location and it's a smaller location than the one on the other side of town. And they did not have any of the LYS Beauty products in stock or in store. So if I want to get any of the LYS, LYS beauty products I have to go to the other location which I probably won't be doing before the sale ends so I might just try and make a lucky guest and buy some online or just not get any at all which sucks but I think I'll try it online and then I can always return if it's wrong I saw this at Walmart and thought it was 
pretty cute and just a good sweatshirt to wear around the house for the holidays. It says Merry and Bright. It's so freaking soft. Probably put this on now, but I haven't. Um, what do you want? This is not for you. This is not for you. This is mom's. Ah, get out of here. But it was only $10, so I couldn't pass that up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was the only one I saw, and it was an extra, extra large. So there's that. And then I need some, like, sweatpants or something for this winter. Why is there stuff all over? Honey, you've got, like, slobber all over my stuff. So I saw these gray sweatpants there, and they were, like, $9.99 or something like that. And again, the only size that they had, or the only size that they didn't have was extra large. They had small, medium, large, extra extra large so I got the extra extra large but at least they will be able to fit over my belly which is what I need because apparently my belly is humongous <laughs> I should put these on I just threw on my pajama pants but I should put these on and then I just needed a few staple tops that I can wear like under my vest that I wore today and like under like shackets so I got this cream colored or oatmeal colored shirt it's like a long john shirt I don't need you to snip it I got this an extra large get out of here and this was like 9 998 or something like that it's time and true but I just thought this would look cute under my vest and I actually might wear it to church tonight or something I don't know <sighs> I'm out of breath I need to lay down and then I just got like a black little long sleeve top and an extra large and this one was like five something so that's all the clothes that I got I just needed some like basics and then the last thing I got was the Demi Wispies lashes for like I said my baby shower coming up and also maternity photos. I thought I had lashes already, but when I was packing my stuff for my other baby shower, I noticed that I had zero lashes. So that's why I didn't wear lashes to that baby shower because I didn't have any. And so I definitely needed to get a few pairs for the upcoming events that I have. It's so crazy to me that I used to literally not do my makeup without putting lashes on. Like I couldn't leave the house with makeup on without my lashes because I just didn't think that it looked good. And now I'm like the opposite. Like I don't want to wear lashes unless like I absolutely have to well not have to but it's like a, a more formal event type thing oh my gosh I need to lay down because my stomach is so full do you have any room in there gee my knee but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out here because I'm just gonna work on editing it and as far as the book review goes I decided to wait and do that until I actually finish this book so I can give you like my full opinion on this book that's why I didn't do that I didn't forget about it I just decided I'm gonna wait a little longer to do it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below I respond to all my comments so let's chat if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and I guess until next time I will see you in my next video Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile.